Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, happy Thanksgiving. Now, this video is more geared towards if you have a manual transmission. Furthermore, if you have an MGW or a TIC master cylinder. However, if you don't have either one of those, but plan on getting either one of those in the future, this video will pertain to you as well. Uh, pretty cheap to do if you have either one of these already, maybe a total of $20. As far as the shifter portion, you just need a little coupler. You just need a little uh, three inch bolt as well. All right, so we'll run that little intro. We'll get into what I did here. All right, so before we go to the car and go for a little drive, I want to explain my reasoning. Now, a lot of people will say, well, it's back to the factory height of the shifter. And you're right, it is. However, if you've ever driven the C5 specifically, shifter, it's horrible. The gates are really sloppy, um, pretty much underneath in the uh, the lower the lower box. The tolerances are kind of low. Um, and even in gear, you get a lot of play. I call it a fisher because you got to fish around for gear. So you kind of got the best of both worlds. You got the MGW, you put those little extension I made on it, and it feels amazing. So nice, crisp shifts. Now in stock form, the MGW, how it comes out of the box, is a great shifter, don't get me wrong. If you like to just cruise around sometimes, I mean, 95% of the time, I'm just cruising around in this. It makes it a much more pleasant, easy experience, if you will. Even with the notchiness, with the anti-venom, sometimes third gear going in, it can be kind of a bear, but with this extra little leverage you get, it just feels amazing. Furthermore, my daily driver is a Mini Cooper. It's got about a four pound clutch, and the throws in that thing are about two feet. So when I go to this, it's, it's got to, I almost got to relearn it every time I get in. It's kind of annoying. So if you're very track focused and autocross your car on the daily, I don't recommend this. If you simply just like a nice cruising experience in your C5 or C6 Corvette, this might be something to look into. As far as the Tick Master Cylinder goes, they recommend that you don't reinstall the helper spring. Uh, when I bought the car, I actually had a Willwood uh, huge bore with almost no throw clutch master cylinder uh, for about eight months, had it in there, I took it out. It was just, it was gnarly. I put the tick in, much more pleasant experience. However, I felt the catch point, the window was so tiny and there was there was no easy into it, if you will, with your foot. Um, on a whim, I bought the stock spring. The linkage on the tick is a little thick, so you gotta bend it like an eighth of an inch, no big deal. I greased it up, I threw it in, and I was shocked at how much more pleasant it is to drive the car. You can slip the clutch much easier. Not ride the clutch, but you can slip it. It gives you your foot almost, the window is the same, but it feels like you have more of a window to kind of slip it in the gear. That matched with the extra leverage on the MGW. Amazing cruising experience now on this car. Totally transformed it. Uh, both, again, both the MGW and the Tick, how they come, are perfectly fine. And if you drive this thing every day as your only car, you'll get used to it, not a big deal. Now I switch cars a lot, so to me, this was a no brainer. So, I'll show you what I did real quick on both of them. The spring's pretty self explanatory. I'll, I'll show you the linkage I put it together. I put some cheap wrap on it this morning. It's a quick little fix, but I'll do something better in the future. It's Thanksgiving, nothing's open. Um, and then we'll go for a ride. You kind of get, kind of see how it looks and how it feels, if you will, via vicariously through me driving it. So let's go ahead and go over to the car. All right, we'll start down here with your uh, your Tick Master Cylinder. Again, uh, Tick tells you not to reinstall the spring. I'm not sure why. There might be a reason for it, and I might find out later. But I put a new one in, as you can see right there. I greased it up and fit right back in, just perfect. Uh, for instance, when I first installed this thing, it was almost impossible to push this down with just my hand. But now it's not too bad at all. And you can kind of see how the spring helps you come out. Yeah, it's just a much more pleasant experience with your foot. Uh, and again, up there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you gotta widen the spring in between the springs. The springs themselves, you gotta kind of widen them a little bit because the uh, linkage is a little thicker than stock form. But yeah, no big deal. Widened it a little bit, greased it up, threw it in. I was shocked. Love it. All right, up here at the... Uh shift knob now the mgw all this to here is all stock this is exactly one and three quarter inch extension right here and it makes a world of difference um, i could have left it, it zinc coated it looks okay 
I was just farting around. I had a whole bunch of uh, carbon vinyl wrap. I threw it on there. It looks all right. It's kind of goofy looking. Um, or I might just change this out later on for a perfectly round uh, extension. Again, this is still a lot of R&D I'm doing here, but it feels phenomenal. Um, and then you just thread this three inch piece down through it. And then you cut off about a little more than half an inch. And then you, uh, you tighten this down like you would the normal shifter. And then up here where the ball meets the top of the threads, put some blue Loctite, boom, and you're all set. Super easy and it feels so nice now. I'm gonna mount you guys in the window and we're gonna go for a little ride. All right, hopefully you guys can see me. I really miss my GoPro, I need to get it back. Uh, well, here we go. One of the first things I noticed with this setup is that it feels a lot like my old, old, old SRT4 Neon, which isn't a bad thing, it was a great little car. Uh, and I always liked the little shifter gearbox in this, the little extension on it. Very similar to that. I have, I have no reference point if you guys can see the shifter or not. I hope you can. Oh, it feels so good. And again, the MPW is an amazing shifter. I think this just really enhances its ability. And the clutch is just so nice to slip it in now. Those two match together, phenomenal experience. Oh, and for those of you wondering my next little mod I'm doing, uh, and I already have it, I'm just waiting for time to do it, you know, having family and work is kind of hard. Uh, I simply just do with a leather wrapped uh, door panels. I'll probably do some better sound dampening for the speakers as well while I'm in there. Might as well, you know. If you guys can see this, let me know what you think. Do you like the, um, the little carbon wrap or should I do a round coupler, chrome or something?